Are you not gonna scare away all the fish, dude? Of course you will. You're not gonna go fishing. fishing. Mm, mm? Me, me. Oh god, she's getting grey now. Check me. She's never been this white. Like six and a half years old now. Already turning grey. Just like your dad. <laughs> and the dad's friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, here I have my crate that keeps everything in place. So I've got a couple of fly stashes. Obviously this isn't going on the water, it just helps me to select when I'm there. I've got a reel bag with all of my reels in it and extra tips. It's a reel bag, it's not a fake bag. <laughs> it is a real reel bag. So here's the reel bag. There's actually a reel here that's not in it. A couple of reels. Well, a bunch of reels really. Um, that's there. As you can see, I'm very neat and organized. <laughs> uh, a water bottle. That's definitely needed. Just another little waterproof pouch that I put my wallet, my phone, spare batteries, stuff like that in. Also, sunscreen is in there. A fishing vest slash backpack. That is filled with a bunch of goodies. The net, very important for today. I think you may be missing something important. Yeah, the rod. Um, so the rod isn't here because I forgot it in your car. And luckily you never clean your car, so it's definitely there. So. It's still in the exact same position as you left it two <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> exactly, right next to that bowl with two spoons in it. Sweet, ready. Mom spaghetti. We got chow, we got water, toilet paper. What do you use leaves? No, that's the one thing. Can't you just dip your bum in the river? Give it a bit of a wiggle. I've got all the fly fishing paraphernalia flicking around here. I feel like a true angler. You look like a pro. Snowy pro. How do we access this river, this beat? We track down and then the problem is, this is why this beat is fish so little. Um, it's a massive bundu bashing thing down. So that's why we're not wearing our waders and we're just scared that they might get punctured. So let's go and check if we can, if we can get in. Next to the road, we're dropping down to the beat now. Another truck coming. No, I'm just joking, yeah. So let's get down, let's get down to the river. Very dirty down here. People are animals. Woo! <laughs> I'm more scared about you with that camera, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna film you and navigate this. nerve-wracking to see somebody come downhill like at speed at you and you're not really standing on oh. firm gra ground. Oh. The river actually looks in great condition, eh? So dropping down to go, so let's get cracking. So how's this for a little beat? Opening run. So we mission down this hill. It's a, it, it was quite a hike, eh? I don't think you call it a hill. It, it was wasn't a hike as well, it was a roll. It was a cliff face and it was a roll. We rolled down it. Controlled roll. Anyway, so we're going to set up, put our waders on, put the rods up. Just set up and just start fishing. I just want to catch a fish now, so let's start. <laughs> I'm slipping down while I'm putting them on. Looks like you're getting into a sleeping bag. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like it, hey? Big Fish Friday, bro. This is Big Fish Friday. Swing! Damn it. This is awesome. Today we're fishing with the Moonshine Epiphany 10 foot 4 inch 28 and the Snowby Prestige GSX uh, 10 foot 28. Both great small stream rods. And I'm wearing the Snowby Prestige STX breathable waders and the Snowby fly fishing vest with the integrated backpack. So we were basically just walking up from this pool we've been filming at the whole time and the second cast down there this fish just ate a nice um, very dark dry fly it was epic well done chris yeah yeah that's on the snowby um 10 for two weight prestige gsx very nice even a small fish it feels like a, yeah. a two pounder on this rod yeah here's a thanks for finally letting me fish Pierre. yeah you yeah you're welcome to bring really. now you caught your fish for the day now it's, I'm just going to catch. Chris can also catch a fish. Very nice to see that beginners can also fish, you know. Beginners luck. selection here we stopped it's just after one quarter past one we stopped the wind just picked up and Chris was getting very demoralized and um, I had to stop to feed him something otherwise he gets very grumpy he actually gets rude you know you tell us about your knots today oh so he lost two fish due to my knots well, in fairness, it was more likely the leader than the knots. But yeah, your knots will probably... Also no, 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 the one you lost was a knot that failed. Solid. Lila. What is that? That's a Cape Cobra, bro. Like. So getting out here, if that that snake has a neurotoxin. So I think getting out here, if that snake bites either of us or both of us. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Someone's gonna run. I would just a, tell you. I would get just. A helicopter. I'm not gonna get out of here with it's that. It's hard to run out. and get a helicopter. I've, I've never run and fixed a helicopter before. I don't know. Who do you find to get a helicopter, bro? Oh my word! It was literally uh, a meter away from, from standing on it. I'm looking to the, at the bubble line. I'm just, and he's right here. And he's like, head is already opened up. Luckily, they want to shy away from people. So this afternoon was super slow and because the wind just came up so with nymph but the wind just makes it so hard to detect takes so I think we might have had takes but we just couldn't feel them and there was this little window where the wind just died down for a second and we fished under that undercut we actually did a video on fishing undercut so if you want a link to that just find it in the description down below so we just fished under that undercut, there's some overhanging branches. I put the fly there and just drifted and suddenly just went grrr, he just felt it like do 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 And the fish you know, just took the fly, I didn't even have to sit, I just ate it so hard. So I'm super stoked and it's one of the most beautiful fish we caught today. It's not necessarily the biggest one, but it's definitely by far the most beautiful. 